Today we are gonna review the 5 best power rackets to buy on Black Friday and save money. The 5th racket is my favorite and it's gonna surprise you a lot. Hello all players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new 4 set. We have already seen the 5 best rackets for less than 150 euros. So now it's time to analyze the 5 best attacking rackets. They are gonna be from the 2023 season in order to save money from the Black Friday discounts. So let's start with a racket that I've been using for a long time because of my elbow problems that is the Vela LTV2 from Wilson. That actually is my favorite racket of the season in terms of design. Because less is more and if it's white, I just simply love it. I made a specific review about this racket that you can see here, but let's take a quick look about the best and the worst of this racket. The reason why I played with this racket was its weight as well as its design. With an extra overgrip, this racket weighs 365 grams with a 25 cm balance. That makes it move better and requires less physical effort than the Vela Pro V2 or the Cupra version. As I had and still have an elbow injury, I can use two heavy rackets. But it is true that in terms of sensations, I still prefer the Vela Pro V2 because it's a little bit stiffer. With this racket, you feel that in overhead shots, you need something extra, more spicy. Also, I have selected this racket for this video because it is an option to consider for those like me who want to play with an attacking and light racket. We continue with a racket that has been one of the best selling attacking rackets of this season. And obviously, I'm talking about the Babola Technical Viper. Is it Juan Lebron's racket? Well, actually, it's really similar, but no, it has some differences. By the way, speaking about Lebron, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to know his new partner for the next season. And going back to the racket, this uses the same mold as Lebron's 2023 racket. It's a diamond mold that actually surprised me a lot because I thought it was going to be much more head heavy and it's not. Being light with a weight of 366 grams and having a balance of 26 centimeters, the Technical Vipers moves very well. This model incorporates the same carbon fiber than Juan Lebron's racket that is the 12K. But the rubber is different. This racket uses a rubber called XEVA of double density while Juan's Lebron racket uses a very hard density rubber. We find in this racket a 14 cm grid that I simply love it. What things need to be improved in this racket? Well, the roughness of this technical viper compared to Lebron's is much worse. It is a kind of sandy rough that is not quite sandy and relief rough that is not quite relief. It is strange to explain but it is almost impossible to notice. But now using this racket is simply amazing, especially for one kind of player. If you are one of those players who usually hit with the upper part of the racket, you will love it. I mean, if you like to have the sweet spot at the top, you will feel very comfortable with this racket. And anyway, it is not as difficult to use this racket as it looks. It's true that being the Viper range in winter for me it's maybe too hard. But in warmer temperatures, this racket is simply amazing. In every overhead shots, this racket stands out, but it is not a racket that is difficult to swing and you feel you are late to hit the ball. At the same time, it's a racket with enough stiffness that you can transfer your speed to the ball very well. But be careful because you have to hit the ball well in defense for the ball to get a speed because having such a small sweet spot and little ball output, you can get penalized. We continue to move forward with one of the most expensive rackets of the 2023 season. And I say this because it was worth 400 euros. But with the discounts of Black Fridays, I haven't seen it sold for less than the half. And I'm talking about the Adidas Multiweight. Don't get confused because this is not Alex Reed Racket. Alex Reed Racket is called Adidas Multiweight Control. This is the attack racket of the Adidas Multiweight range. What I like most about this racket is its rubber. The red cap indicates that it uses the Adidas hard rubber. However, the Adidas hard rubber doesn't seem so hard to me. It is a very comfortable rubber even now in winter when it gets a little bit harder. I told you in another video that I didn't like the Adidas soft rubber, but in this case it's completely the opposite. But wait a second Pablo, what's so special about this racket? Well, it's a technology similar to the one used in Galan's racket. 
13 screws in total allow you to modify the weight and the balance. For example, if we remove the screws from the head of the racket, the balance will go down a little bit. I haven't removed a single screw, so can you guess how much this racket weighs? 369 grams and has a balance of 26.5 centimeters. Leave a like to the video if you like me to weigh the racket without a single screw. But anyways, it doesn't feel heavy and I can move the racket very well, which is very important for me. However, and this is something that happens to every Adidas racket, the grip, the handle, just size 11 centimeters. I don't have a big hand and I don't hit backhand with two hands, but it's too small for me. And the string is so short and thick that it is not the most comfortable at all. Apart from these problems, the rest of the racket is simply amazing. Obviously, this racket has a lot of power. You can hit flat or with top spin because you can move the racket well and the ball will get a lot of speed. The goal from Adidas was to get a power racket and they have achieved it. And there is something that maybe I didn't expect from this racket because of the weights and the diamond shape and that was it will perform so well on defense. You don't feel head heavy and you can defend without too much effort. I have to admit that I had so many doubts to be this racket my favorite. But I like the fifth one a little bit more. But before revealing the fifth one we need to see before the fourth one. But the fourth one needs no introduction because it's one of the best selling rackets in history. This racket was made in collaboration with one of the best players in history and I am obviously talking about Miguelito Lamperti and the Nox ML10 Pro Cap. Is it a 100% attack racket? No. Is it a 100% control racket? No. For me, it's the perfect mix. This round racket incorporates the famous Nox HR3 rubber with fiberglass. These two factors makes this racket a little bit soft. But be careful because the balance is 27 centimeters and in fact it feels head heavy. Although it is round, I feel that it moves worse than the Technical Viper or the Multi-Weight. Nox sells lighter versions of this racket even though this weighs 364 grams. Little to say about how it behaves on court because it is an 8 in everything. Many of you have had this racket or have been able to test it. It is a racket that works well in everything, although it is not excellent in anything from my point of view. And now, let's get down to it. What is my favorite offensive racket of 2023? The Head Delta Motion, the lighter version of Arturo's Coelho's racket. And don't forget that Paula Jose Maria, number one in the world, and Agustine Loveja Gutierrez also uses this racket. It's true that the new Extreme Motion is out, but I haven't been able to test it yet. And I can guess that Head won't produce more units of this Delta Motion, so prices should be cheap. And I promise you that this racket is completely worth it. Its weight of 357 grams is the only difference with this racket and the Arturos Coelho's one. It's a racket that moves great even though it has a diamond shape and its balance is a bit high. But how much high? With an extra weight grip that I put on it, it is 26.5 centimeters. But it doesn't influence badly because I feel very agile with it in fast movements and in defense. I also have a great feeling when contact with the ball and that allows me to have an incredible feeling of control for what is supposed to be an attacking racket. The roughness is more evident than in the rest of the power rackets I've tried, although it's not perfect either. On the other hand, the size of the grip is perfect for me, 12.5 cm. If they increase the grip size to 14 cm like Babolat, this racket will become too much head heavy. I feel very comfortable with it both on defense and when I need to add speed to a volley, a Vivora to a smash. The ball gets so much speed, it's as simple as that. So this is simply my favorite attack racket of this season. All this is a personal opinion, so probably there are someone who has tried this racket and didn't like it. But honestly, I feel it's made for me. Try this racket if you have the chance and I'm sure you will find the lightweight more of an ally than an enemy. I tried Coelho's racket, the Delta Pro, and I couldn't move it properly. Think that there is about 20 grams difference between one racket and the other one. And that means so much physical effort in a 90 minute match. As I was saying, I have tested what for me are the best attack rackets of this season. 
We have light brackets such as the Bella LTV2 or the Delta Motion, very explosive rackets like the Technical Viper, all round and classic rackets such as the ML10, or rackets with customization possibilities such as the Multiweight. Do you have any doubt about any of these 5 rackets? Leave it in the comments, thank you for watching the video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one, ciao!